And so I want to take a moment to speak in particular to all the young leaders here and across America. Do we have anybody here from Gen Z? Gen Z have been trending all over the world and this revolution started from Kenya when the young people who were born between 1997 and 2009 there who are within this age group are the Gen Z. Now the Gen Z of Kenya came out very strongly condemning the government of the finance bill and many other taxes which were unprecedented and through this they gained very large and big worldwide recognition which has enlisted or enriched the status of this Gen Z. Now also in America, we have seen the presidential candidate Kamala Harris talk about the Gen Z because he knows they form major basis of the numbers in the any country. Gen Z form the better part of the population of every country and that's why he's trying to talk about them so that he can sway them to his favor in the coming general election. As of the moment, the Gen Z are the world largest population in the at the moment. In every country, majority of the people are the Gen Z and they have a very big influence. On the Naibu Warain Celebandlo Officini Regadi Geshagwa Mekata Rufa Didi wa Muzu wa Naibu Jaji Mkuu Filomena Mwilu Kubuni Jopo la Majaji wa Tatu Kusikiliza Kesi Kusu Kondolo wa Kwaki Officini Katika Rufa Hiyo Geshagwa Meomba Mahakama Hiyo Kusitisha Kesi Noendelea Katika Mahakama Kuu Ambo Inapaso Kuendelea Kesho Jumane Ayo Najiri Uku Jopo Hilo Nalua Jumwisha Majaji Eric Ogola Anton Murima Na Freda Mugambi Tekitarajua Kusikiliza Ombi La Munashiri ya Mkuu Wa Serikali Na Bunge La Kitaifa Na lenga kuondoa maagizo ya kuzuia kuapishwa kwa kiture kindiki kwa naibu wa rais. Naam, tusonge it is very clear that the one and only Mr. Rigathi Gashagwa seem not to relenting or giving his opponent an easy time in this impeachment saga as he has now been almost out of office for the last two weeks, he has seemingly done everything to protect his job, which is in the fudge of losing. He even went to court to stop the swearing in of Professor Kitureki Ndiki and thus thwarting the plans of the those who wanted him out of his office. And now he has gone to court of appeal to appeal the decision by the Deputy Chief Justice, that is Philomena Mulo, to construe a three bench judge to listen to his case and now as of the moment the case is to be heard and the things or the days are moving since he was impeached and he has done everything possible to protect his job. 